Welcome to East of Eden Readings. I am your consciousness coordinator, Reverend Rock, aka Raheem. And tonight, I'm going to recite a poem that I composed several years ago called Infinitum or Infinitum. You know, tomato, tomato. I prefer Infinitum. It's Latin for infinity, obviously. And it goes a little something like this. Kick it! Look at my spectacles, my goggles. Ecclesiastes chapter one verse four lies a small indication of yet another universal law. One generation passeth away and another generation cometh. So yes, there is no thing new under the sun. Welcome to an epic of my soul's journey through to restoration. Just close your eyes and visualize as I tell you how it all begun. Thy first epiphany on this mission, my apparition emanated of the abode of Anki Osar Osiris, since brother Enlil Seti sliced and diced thee amidst papyrus, my concert Nihursarg or Set Isis collected and resurrected me by bearing a son. Now I am Murdoch Herol, the great light, hence Lord of the Sun. Until Nefertiti and the Her dynasty banished thee from my kingdom, thus unifying thy patriarch members and the deity Atan. Then for decades, I, as she reigned, and at a time guised as this fire spirit, Tut Ank Aman, yet a fatal blow to the head renders me as her dead this name in bond to oblivion i come back not to relapse but to instruct the masses how to erect tombs to the gods by setting step upon step who am i you ask the master builder imhotep Thy dexterity lies immortalized in these pyramids of Giza. I cannot stay though. I gotta go and return as Enoch. Tanakh. As him I thrive in peace as I cleave to my rod. The reward of a righteous man was not to die, but to was walk with this God. Thence came a time men began to fret and call on the divine name. I should know, because at this moment, I was summoned to Cain. A skilled artificer and conjurer of tricks, like those adorned in black with bow ties and top hats propped by magic sticks. Amidst all this, my generation was cursed and vanquished to the land of Nod. Centuries slipped, inducing a lunar eclipse. However, December 25th, I regenerated as Nimrod, although diagnosed with a severe Oedipus complex and an unhealthy lust for sex. I erected the nation of Babylon under a hex. Hence it came to a point that material had to decompose. So I arose Aminabad, Moses, Taharka, also known as Thutmos the Third. On Mount Sinai I received the essence and the most holiest of words. I then led a chosen people out of mental bondage I once enslaved into herds. Then a reprimand from an almighty hand. Bandai was 
out the promised land. For the life of thee just could not understand. So I sought refuge as the wise dome of Sa'oman. On an omen's demand, I constructed the temple of thy mind. Since millenniums, it has been misconstrued by you as a goddamn physical shrine. Still deaf, dumb, and blind, I left Solomon's minds to find a vessel that I may nestle, for mankind seemed irrevocably in a bind. I nested amidst Socrates and pondered these philosophies until the hierarchy sought to charge me with his crime called heresy. Why? I did not disturb anybody. Thus, they insist in poisoning me. So unto a new body, I must flee into third, excuse me. So unto a new body, I must flee until the turn of the next century BC. Y yeah, just. <laughs> In the year of their Lord, I emerged as the solar knight, Sun Tzu, and compiled a library of martial strategies till this day is used against you. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. You. The American Negroid. In any event. And compiled a library of martial strategies till this day is used against you. The year is now around 4 AD, which is abbreviated for Anno Domini. I am conceived miraculously in the womb of a Virgin Mary. You all know his story, yet there exists a my story. Oh, how I escaped the wrath of the far eye seas who tried to nail this body to a tree. Disguised in a garden's fleece, I fled through Galilee, smuggled by fellow initiates into Kashmir, India, and separated from my children and wifey until I was 120. Who I be was Yashu, Yashua, Jesus. Now surviving as an incubus, I must inhabit the author of Kama Sutra or be fated to spontaneous combust. The name is Vatsyana. Secrets of multiple orgasms thrive amidst thy present persona as I hesitate toward the next intention. Which lands me in 13th century Gaul battle armor. I am female again. One, excuse me, I am female once again. Made, or, made of Orleans to begin. Liberating King Louis X's territories from medieval Anglo land. But they coined me a witch and thought me a bitch just because I would not switch to Roman Catholic. So they burned me at some stake again for these sins that they create, trying relentlessly to seal up thy fate till the next inevitable date. Infinitum. That is the first installment. There will be a, a second one. On how I emerged in this dimension as the Rahim to present day. Peace. I love you. You are thine brethren, my people, my blood, my flesh. East of Eden readings. Peace. And I'm out. Infinitum. One.